Hello everybody, Disaster here, and today I'll be talking about the first arc of Hunter x Hunter, which I just watched. Hunter x Hunter I thought was very- Hun- what? Oh, I did it wrong? Um, Hunter times Hunter? Hunter plus Hunter? Hunter and Hunter? Hunter- Hunter? Are we talking about the sim fucking anime here or what? Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Disaster here, and this will be my first review. So today, I finished watching the first arc of Hunter x Hunter, the Hunter exam arc, and I thought it was really good and felt like it would be worth making a review on. Also, this will be like a little series I'm doing. I'm going to continue watching Hunter x Hunter, and I will review all the arcs. I think there are six so far. The next one I will be reviewing is Heaven's Arena. But I've blabbered my ass off for too long now. Don't want to go for over like two minutes because then I'll turn into one of those YouTubers. So let's just start the video now. You can smile again. Hunter Hunter is the uplifting and fun story of Gone Freaks. Let's show a clip of this anime being happy and fun. As you can tell from the clip, Hunter x Hunter is a very happy-go-lucky adventure anime. Probably the most happy one you'll find. All jokes aside, I absolutely love this anime so far. A lot of people say that it only starts to get good in the later arcs, but I honestly was captivated at the very beginning. The story is about Koopa Poopa Pee Poopa Kika, Lei Oreo, I'm going to kill ya, and gone. Come on guys, that joke about Gon was pretty funny, right? Guys? Oh, wasn't it fun? Now, these characters are all different and are very interesting, but the one thing they have in common is that they're all gay. They're all best friends. Gon is a cheerful and happy kid that wants to be a hunter. And no, I'm not talking about actual hunters, I'll explain later. He wants to find his dad, Ging, or Jing, or whatever his name is, I can't tell who left a long time ago to get milk and never came back. Loa is the most adorable, friendly, and funny assassin you'll ever find. He belongs to the famous Zoldic family of assassins who carry out dangerous orders to kill. But that didn't interest him, so he stabbed his mom and brother and ran away. He wants to become a hunter, partly because he thinks it sounds fun, but mostly because he gets to stare at God. Kurapika is the one that people love to bully because of his name. But honestly, I don't understand why people make fun of him. I love Koopa Poopa. He's the last surviving member of the Kurta clan, a clan that was brutally murdered by a group of thieves called the Phantom Troop. He wants to become a hunter to get vengeance. Although he may sound like the edgy member of the team, he's very caring and sweet and the mom of the group. He enjoys hanging out with friends, training, and tending to his lush blonde Kurapika Cobain hair. And finally, Leo Rio is the person that provides most of the comedy to the show. He's most likely Kurapika's husband. Also, plot twist to Jing isn't actually Gon's dad. Kurapika and Leo Rio gave birth to him. Although he's a big comic relief character, he's still just as interesting and endearing as the others. And it's really nice seeing his smart strategies and tactics such as Messing up his team dude to look at some cooch. The story, like I said earlier, hooks me pretty much immediately. In the world of Hunter x Hunter, hunters are extremely skilled people that take on near impossible tasks. However, to become one, you have to pass an extremely tough physical and strategic exam, the Hunter exam. This is an exam that the main characters all take, as well as where they all meet. It may seem like your average shonen story. Character wants to be a blank, so he blanks. But it isn't so much the actual basic synopsis that's an interesting part of it. It's the hunter exam itself. The hunter exam consists of multiple stages, which just get more and more interesting as they go on. But it's not just like a series of challenges. It's how the world building happens. Hunter x Hunter's world is one of many fantastical beasts and monsters. A world of many different cultures and landmarks that are discovered as the anime progresses. 
It's almost addicting to watch these fictional characters perform crazy, near-impossible tasks, all while discovering new things about this interesting world. Think of the Hunter exam like the Hunger Games. There are a lot of challenges and stuff they have to face, and the world building progresses. Okay, was that a good comparison? I don't know. I kind of made the connection when I was watching, I don't know about you guys. Speaking of the challenges, they, of course, are some of the best parts as well. Like I said, they get more and more interesting as they progress, and they're so hype and action-packed. Characters show off their abilities, their true natures are revealed, battles to the death happen, and there's constant danger and surprise. I'd explain the challenges, but I don't want to ruin the experience for a person that hasn't watched the anime yet, and I'd also take forever. But it wouldn't be a good shonen anime without a creepy and mysterious villain, and Hunter x Hunter has just that. Hisoka is the main villain of the series, or the first arc I guess? I'm not sure. His power is creating 14 year old straight white girls on Instagram who simp for him and defend his pedophilic actions. Hisoka is my favorite character in Hunter x Hunter, he's so hot. He is literally a pedo. No he is not! He got aroused and literally nutted when fighting gone. And yes, I've seen this part by now. Sorry for putting off videos for so long. But it's not like he likes fighting! He's not a pedo, he just gets a boner on fighting! He got horny when Gon looked at him? He was only excited because he was going to fight him! He literally stared at Gon and Killua's asses. Uh, um, there was a reason for that, but I, uh, forgot. I have to go by! Not only is Hisoka literally a pedo, he also isn't even hot. He looks like a pale, crusty fucking clown. Ronald McDonald looking ass. Also, we all know that if Hisoka looked like Tanpa, the fangirls wouldn't defend him and would hate on him. Anyways, I went on a bit of a rant there. The point is, Hisoka is interesting because he's a creepy and mysterious villain. So yeah, as you can tell, I absolutely love this story and most of the characters. So now let's talk about other categories, such as uh, music, voice acting, and art. The animation was done by Studio Madhouse, or sorry, Studio Madhouse before they became garbage. <laughs> Rest in peace, you beautiful studio you. Pre-Disaster Madhouse is known for animating many other popular series, such as Death Note, One Punch Man, Parasite, and Beck. Their animation was great for all of those. Well, Bex wasn't their best, but it was still decent. Luckily, the same quality of animation seen in One Punch Man is present here too. The animation is fast and fluid, and the art and character designs are bright, unique, and colorful. It's basically just perfect art all around. As for the music, the OST is phenomenal. It's composed by Yoshihisa Hirano, who also provided the OSTs for many famous anime, such as Death Note, Warren High School Host Club, and Hajime no Ippo. He did an amazing job of providing the whimsical and fantasy-like music that perfectly suits all of the scenes and characters, and he's probably now one of my favorite anime composers ever. A few of my favorite tracks were The World of Adventurers, Gon's Theme, <laughs> Soka's theme. And Hunter March. As for the opening and ending themes, both are great. I'm especially glad that they chose a good opening because they decided to make it the opening for every single episode. For the ending theme, they got my favorite 90s emo metal rock band, 148 Days Grace, to perform. No, but seriously. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas did a great job with the Hunter x Hunter ending, just like they did with the Parasite opening. The last thing I want to talk about with this anime is the voice acting in both the sub and dub. 
I actually watched the sub for this anime, even though I usually watch dubs. But the voice actors for Gon and Killua are Megumi Han and Maria Ise, so I mean, come on. But although Gon and Killua's voices are great, I'd say the star of the show here is Daisuke Namikawa as Hisoka. As much as I hate Hisoka, the dude did an amazing job of por portraying the creepy yet gentle voice that perfectly suits him. It's crazy how it's impossible to detect the fear in his voice, given how he was probably forced at gunpoint to moan and say, Oh god, <laughs> to the mic. In conclusion, Hunter x Hunter is amazing, even just in its opening arc. It's crazy how it pulls you in right at the start instead of taking episodes or even seasons to really start. This show is an absolute masterpiece so far, and it's already jumped to my third favorite anime of all time. In my opinion, I'd say that it just surpasses Full Metal Alchemist. I know I might get a lot of hate for that, but whatever. But what are number one and two in my anime rankings? You'll find out eventually. Or you could just check out my My Anime List profile. Yes, it's time to shamelessly promote my social media. No, I'm just kidding, I'll just finish up the video here. If you enjoyed this review, please, please subscribe for future reviews of both future arcs of Hunter x Hunter and other anime, as well as funny skits, lists, discussions, memes, and more. So with that, thank you for watching, and bye bye Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay tuned for a secret scene at the end. This was my first review on the channel, and if you enjoyed it, I'd be really grateful if you subscribed. Of course, I'll be making more reviews and more in-depth videos on the channel. On a side note, for some reason that feels really weird that my first video that's a review on this channel will be a 10 out of 10. I don't know, I just feel like most reviewer channels give like, I don't know, they review and anime or whatever, and they give it an 8 out of 10 for the first video or something. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. Bye.